Continuing coverage now on National Radio Show is in Nina today, looking deeper into the hostage situation last year at Eagle Nation Cycles. You'll remember, Nina police shot and killed Michael Funk, thinking he was hostage taker Brian Flatoff. A state investigation later found those officers were justified in that shooting. NBC 26's Marissa D. Candido joins us live at 6 with more on today's broadcast. The radio show called For the People hosted a three-hour broadcast with a live audience inside Eagle Nation Cycles today. The show highlighted what they say are injustices in the death of Michael Funk last year. Eagle Nation Cycle owner Steve Arado joined in the broadcast with host Keith Allen. They say the problems between Nina Police and the motorcycle shop started back in 2012 when officers raided the store. Officers said last year they thought Funk was the accused hostage hostage taker Brian Flatoff, but Arado says police knew who Funk was. We just kind of feel like there was an injustice for one. Michael Funk lost his life. We feel tragically and we feel like that there was some malicious intent that was involved and we're just not very happy with the outcome. Arado recently dropped a citizen's complaint against Nina Police Chief Kevin Wilkinson. We spoke with Chief Wilkinson when the complaint was filed, and he said the investigation into his officers was thorough. You, you can see they're meticulous. They, they take these things very seriously, um, break it down to, to each detail and make sure that they're doing everything uh, as, as circumspectly as they can to get it right. Some of the hostages, Nina Mayor Dean Coffert and Michael Funk's brother, were in the crowd at today's radio broadcast. The show also served as a kind of memorial for Michael Funk, with the audience holding pictures of him. Keith Allen said the show was to keep Funk's memory alive. Marissa DiCandido, NBC 26.